Your mouth is on fire. Your eyes are watering. You just ate a pepper, but the temperature never changed. What gives? Why does something that's room temperature feel like molten lava? You aren't tasting spice. You're feeling pain. Welcome to the Y Vault, where we dive into the wild science of capsaicin and why your brain thinks your dinner is an actual threat. The secret weapon in chili peppers is a molecule called capsaicin and related compounds like piperine and black pepper and isothiocyanates in wasabi. When you eat it, capsaicin doesn't activate your taste buds. It binds to a specific sensor on your nerve cells called the TRPV1 receptor. This is the same receptor that normally responds to actual physical heat, like a hot oven or a temperature above 109, circle, text, f -fash. The capsaicin molecule literally tricks your nervous system into thinking you're burning. Your body doesn't panic for nothing. To cope with this perceived pain, your brain floods your system with endorphins and adrenaline, the body's natural painkillers and mood boosters. This rush is the reason people chase the burn. You are essentially getting a mini self-inflicted rush every time you eat a ghost pepper. It's a thrill-seeking behavior. It's not a flavor. It's a fascinating chemical trick and a biological defense mechanism. So the next time you feel the heat, remember, you're not tasting a flavor. You're experiencing a clever evolutionary defense mechanism turned into a thrilling culinary experience. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? Drop your Scoville challenge story in the comments. If you want more deep dives into the science of everyday life, hit that like button, share this with your friend who drowns everything in hot sauce, and be sure to follow the Y Vault for more answers to why things are the way they are.